Thank you, Scott. Well, history was made over the weekend when a new Miss Arkansas and Miss Arkansas outstanding team were crowned. First, the first time in the pageant's 84 year history that both are women of color and it's about time. Let's take a look at Saturday's big moment for Miss Arkansas. And that means you're Miss Arkansas 2022 and the recipient of a $30,000 scholarship from Ted and Shannon Skokas, Miss Dogwood. Ebony is joining us this morning. Miss Arkansas 2022. Congratulations, Hello. Thank Ebony. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. When you watch that, and I would imagine you've seen it a time or two, what does it feel like? You know, it's just now starting to kind of sink in, watching it back. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of don't totally remember that moment because you kind of lose all sense of um, where you're at at the time. Sure. But it's just, it's been incredible. I can't say thank you enough to everyone who's helped me get there and everyone who has been um, a kind voice along the way. So it's just been amazing. Well, tell us about your background. Uh, how did, what was your journey to Miss Arkansas? It's been quite a while. So I started this organization when I was nine years old. I was a princess. So it's a it's a mentorship program that you, you go along with a Miss Candidate and then you get to walk on stage with them. So I started that in 2007. And then I started in a teen organization. I did that for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then I knew that I really wanted to be Miss Arkansas. So I came back during my sophomore year of undergraduate and I started competing for Miss Arkansas. And it's just been the most incredible journey. Tell us about where you're from. Where did you grow up? And then where did you go to school? Yes, I am originally from Harrison, Arkansas. So mm -hmm. I grew up there K through 12. I was a golden goblin. Um, <laughs> and then after that, I went to the University of Central Arkansas and I got my undergraduate degree in business marketing. Um, and then I just graduated about uh, a few weeks ago with my master's degree at John Brown. So it's been quite the whirlwind, but it's been amazing. I'll say congr yes. congratulations all around. We're looking at this moment and you're crying. Uh, Are you crying out of disbelief? Relief, relief, joy, just describe the emotions you were feeling. I think it's a mixture of both because it's such a huge moment and so few women get to live that moment mm -hmm. and you dream about it. I mean, I've watched the Miss America pageant since I was, I mean, since <laughs> I can remember. Same. So the fact that I get to go there and compete and represent mm -hmm. the best state in America mm -hmm. is just, it's indescribable. So it's amazing. People have been talking about the history made because the outstanding team is a young African-American mm -hmm. woman and you are as well. And this is the first time for our state to have that. Does that mean something to you exponentially or is it more about this is just who I am and I won because of me? Tell me about that, that that right. talk. It's, I think, again, I think it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. I grew up um, in a very small town. I'm from Harrison, Arkansas, mm -hmm. like we talked about. So I never really saw that representation for myself. And I know mm -hmm. that there are so many people who feel that same way. Um, Harrison is full of beautiful people, though, and I'm sure. so, so excited to represent them. Sure. Uh, but it's just an honor to, to be that representation that I needed whenever I was a young girl. And then for Kamaya to be that for other mm -hmm. young girls, it's just incredible. But I think at the end of the day, the job always goes to the right person and it just happened to be us too and it's just we're so thankful well it should have you both oh, earned it you. before we go we want to talk about your social yes. impact tell us what it is and why you chose it my social impact initiative is called a responsible digital you mm -hmm. it's all about being safe online and keeping our children safe online mm -hmm. i had a really close friend who was a victim of an online predator when we were in junior high so Ooh. to witness her go through that was traumatic but for her to go through that was even more traumatic so mm -hmm. growing up and going to college and learning about social media through marketing mm -hmm. i knew that this was an area that i could champion and partner with people like the Attorney General's Office and the Department of Education to really get the word out about my impact. We are so proud of you for doing that for Thank our you. young people in Arkansas and then beyond. We're about to wrap, but real quickly, when yeah. do you leave for the Miss America pageant? It is in December. So okay. we have about six months to prepare for Miss America. I can't even believe that I'm saying that. <laughs> it's <laughs> it amazing. Fun, um, it? <laughs> but I just, I cannot wait to represent the state of Arkansas. I love this state with all my heart. So it's just, it's an honor. Well, we are honored by your presence Thank today. You so Thank much. you, Ebony, for Thank being you. with us on THV Wake Up Call. We are Wake Up Central. We're so excited for you in the Miss America pageant. Uh -huh. We'll be watching and you have our full support. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us.